everybody. If not, as always, I hope it gets better for you. So today I'm doing something a little different because I'm wanting to get these guys spawned out. The Mac and Scarab barbs, the Dockensia Assimilus, preferably. Uh, mind all the reflection here. I didn't have time to set up, but we're going to build something for them to hopefully get some eggs captured. And if not, maybe these guys will spawn in it. I definitely know these guys should spawn in it. And who knows, even the cherry barbs might spawn in it. So everything in this tank that may spawn into what I'm about to build and show you guys um, will be good. I'd be happy with any of it. I do have some Placos in here, so hopefully they don't snack on too many eggs. We'll see. All right, so what I got here is a tote, Sterilite tote. This has already been washed out real well. Gotten the residues off of it, hot water, and um, some man scissors. Now you can use any kind of snips. These should work out really, really well. Oh, here's some other plants from the swap. And get those taken care of. And yeah, let's just chop this up. So ideally what I want to do is I want to make kind of an angle. So instead of them having to go into this container and like dive into it to get into the spawning mops. Hold on one second. All right, I had to get some spawning mops real quick. So yeah, I'm gonna have these in here like so. But ideally is I want to cut this diagonally either way, whatever. That way they can actually get into like the side of it instead of having to go down into it. They can just kind of go up into it. And then that way I'll have this corner edge here to collect the eggs. So when I go to grab it, all the water eggs will stay over onto this side here. And uh, all the water I can let out through there. So... Let's just cut it, make it real quick, and uh, you can see really what I'm talking about. Start on the corner here. And I've never actually made one of these. Perfect. Let's see, we can just cut this up here. It really doesn't take very long if you got the right kind of tool. It's man scissors. Could be wool man scissors. I mean, can use them too. Discriminate against whamming. too sharp oh boy there we go just work our way out oh man that's way too far let's try going from here so it doesn't have to be the prettiest just got to get the job done all right so there we have it final product pretty easy peasy Ooh, i'm gonna want to get rid of those sharp edges for sure so let's just trim those up We'll go around the natural form of this, too. There we go. That makes it nice and smooth. All right. Cool. Perfect. So that should work. Have some spawning mops in there. That'd be perfect. And quickly with the spawning mops, I use the acrylic yarn. Uh, that way the dye and stuff doesn't leach out of here. That can be a problem with the cotton ones. But I just uh, wrap them around a book. I actually got a video on how to do that. And then I cut the bottom. I don't know. think I should make another video for that. Let me know. Maybe I should. Because that would take a little more while to teach you guys in. All right, so here we go. This is how it should look. Actually, let's cut that top down a little bit, too. All right. Doesn't really have to be super tall. It's just 
is going to be enough to collect the eggs. Oh, and there's my doorbell. It's always something around here. Probably even go lower than that. Maybe I'll just fill it up more with spawning mumps. Alright, and the good thing about these spawning mumps, now by having this string down around towards the top of the spawning mump, I can actually put rocks in there and hide them. So that'll actually help weigh them down, and then this will kind of float up. All right, so I did cut it a little shorter, so a shallower tub would probably work pretty good. This is just what I already had at home, most of this stuff. All right, so I laid the uh, four with the rocks down, and a little spot them up on top, kind of weighted down like that. I just, I don't know, kind of just filled it in with some fake spawning media. See how this works. All right, now where to put it on the tank? Now you want to get the uh, air out of the yarn or they'll just try to float away. So just give them a little squeeze. Let's get that out of there. All right, and. All right, so there you have it in the tank. Hopefully that'll just become another decoration to them, I guess. Maybe I should have cut that off there. But I wasn't really planning on setting like that. Could have cut that off a little bit too. You could always customize it. That's a good thing about scissors. I'm going to leave it like that. See what happens. Hopefully they do their thing. Get comfortable. Right now they kind of seem scared of it. Let's get down here. Let's see if they'll go that way. Yeah. Now they're stuck in the middle. The barbers aren't sure what to do. Give them a little while. Let them get familiar with it. I'll watch them. Rainbow fish are already about it. They're thinking about it. That's a male and female right there. I'll keep you updated. All right, so you can see here the lights are turning off. We got that in the fish tank. Um, hopefully we'll get some babies out of it. I'm really hoping to. I know a lot of you guys have been on me. Really hoping that I breed the Doc and Sia Simless which I have already bred it before, but I did that the natural method doing the musical fish where you take them, put them in a planted tank, an aquascape, and it had a pile of rocks. They bred all over it. It was with bulbitis and a pile of rocks. Took them out of the tank as the 125 high upstairs in my bedroom. But I did get a few out of that, but it wasn't controlled, so you couldn't really get like a good amount of them to actually be like, yeah, I'm breeding them. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think they're going to end up laying eggs in there? I really hope they do. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button. Hopefully, some of you guys learned something, and hopefully this helps some of you guys. Um, don't forget to share, subscribe if you haven't. And, yeah, I'll keep you guys up to date. We'll check this out. We'll go through it. We'll see if we find anything or not. And I'll do that with you guys. So, yeah. Till next time, everybody, have a great one. Peace.